out. I can't believe it is our wedding day. For so long now, I've only dreamed about this day, and now it's happening. I know that God gave me you just when I needed you. I prayed for Him to send me a husband and that I would know when it was right. God didn't give me what I prayed for. He gave me more than I could have asked for. You are the most thoughtful person I know. You never make me feel less than, and you show me love when I don't deserve it. One of the many things that made me fall in love with you is your willingness to make God the center of our relationship. I know with that will come many blessings for us. I love the respect you've always shown me. I love your smile and your contagious laugh. And I love the way you love me. I know it took some time for us to find one another, but I believe God's timing is perfect and He makes everything beautiful in His time. I hope and pray to be the wife you need and want. I hope to make all of your bad days better and your good days great. I thank God for such a wonderful man to call my husband. I am so excited to become your wife and begin this journey with you. I hope today and the rest of your life is everything you've ever wanted. I can't wait to call you mine forever. Love, Paige. Paige, our day is finally here. The last 77 days have flown by. It seems like just yesterday I was on one knee asking you to be my wife. Since that day we've done so much together, including planning a wedding and now buying a house. This has felt very special because we made these decisions together and planned our life going forward, which begins together on this day. I've thought a lot about you in the last few days and how our relationship has started because we did not know what the future would hold. Yet we talked for hours, concentrating <laughs> on developing a friendship before a relationship. Think about how our relationship started. It started on a snow day. Last week also had a snow day, allowing us extra time to plan for the wedding and our house. Like both of those days, God played an integral role bringing us together and pulled the perfect strings to bring us even closer. We have come so far in a short amount of time. I now believe, as we said before, that God's hands have been all over our relationship and now our marriage. The decisions and turns we have made in life have put us together on this special day. I am so happy I have the privilege and pleasure of marrying you today. Love you. Love you too. I don't know what the future holds, but I am confident in it. Thanks, Daddy. Because I'll be calling you my best friend, my love, and now my wife. I love you, Paige. I feel like I'm already going to cry. Don't cry. <laughs> you guys look handsome. I wish Bobby was here. Yes, I'm sure. That's part of me. Did you just like me? Smile, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam recorded from this day forward as we assemble in the presence of our Creator and by your witness bind legally and lawfully this man and this woman in holy marriage, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto us the union that is between Jesus Christ and His bride, the church. Into this holy covenant come now Paige, Jennifer Brooks, and Matthew Ryan Roark to be joined. The Bible says, What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You came in here as two, and you're going to leave as one.
Matt, will you have paid to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, cherish, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. I will. I'm Matt. Take you, Paige. I, Paige, take you, Matt. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And thereto I pledge. And thereto I pledge. Before Almighty God. Before Almighty God. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I now, by the declared law of God, and being qualified by the state of Tennessee, do hereby pronounce Paige and Matt henceforth till death, husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Um, hey everyone, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight uh, to celebrate Matt and Paige. I, uh, I'm not a great public speaker, but uh, I was going to come up here and tell all the embarrassing moments of Matt's childhood and adulthood and everything, but I'll just leave that alone. I just want to say Matt and Paige, I wish you a lifetime of happiness and love. I love you both and Paige, we're so happy to have you in our family. Love you all. She's always supported me and always been one of my biggest fans. And I'm so thankful that her and Matt have crossed paths. And I think God made the perfect match with them. And they bring out the best in each other. And I just want to thank you, Matt, for making my sister the happiest girl in the world. And Paige, you look so beautiful. And I love you so much. We had chicken pox together in uh, kindergarten, and we haven't stopped since. As many of you know, Paige never puts herself first. She's always lifts up those around her. She walks into the room and she's the most beautiful person in the room. If you know her, she can sing any song that comes on the radio. She doesn't miss a, a beat on the dance floor. And she's just amazing and beautiful every single day. And I just want you to know that I love you and Matt, you're the luckiest guy in the world. Oh.